Hello guys, this is Kishan and this video is on merge statement that we have in Oracle and SQL. So basically how do how how and where do we use the merge statement and what are the flexibility options given in the merge statement? We'll just go across all of those. Um, just for starters, we will use a merge statement when we want to do a conditional update, insert or delete, you know, any of these three operations, we will use a merge statement. So there will be a source table and target table in this merge statement and based on the joining condition we will if like if the joining condition is matched then we would you know update or delete the record and if the joining condition is not matched we would insert the record into it. So I'll just show you what about more on this with an example. It's more easy to understand that way. Say suppose I have a table called as EMP. Now in this EMP table I have employee ID, first name, last name, department ID and salary. But as you see the salary column is null and I have only um, about 11 records in this table from employee ID 100 to 110. And there is another table called as select staff from employees. Now this employees table has a, a range of employees, you know about 107 records and all of them have different salaries. So what I want to do is, like, I want to merge this EMP table. So EMP is our target table. We will be merging into this EMP table. And our source table is employees. So we will be using this employees table. We will be using this employees table. And we will merge into this EMP table. Now what to merge on, you know? employees table has about yeah so what I want to do is I want to update this salary column based on this employees uh, salary column okay and if I don't find a record in this EMP table I just want to get that record from the employees table and put it into EMP table so I'll be merging into my target is you know to either update the salary or insert the record into this EMP table so I'll be merging into EMP table and I'll be using the employees table. Now uh, on what column can I merge, you know, what will be our condition? So it seems like I have an employee ID here and I have an employee ID here. So I can, you know, merge on this employee ID column. Like wherever they match, I want either an update or an insert or a delete. And when they don't match, just don't know anything. Yeah, so this is the case. I'll just insert one more record into this EMP table so that we'll come to know what happens when we, you know, we don't uh, find a record. Now, the maximum employee ID present over here is 206. So I'll just insert an employee with 210. EMP values. Um, I'll put uh, 210. I'll just put my name. Say, Kishan my last name as and the department ID let's say how about 10 and I don't give any such let me put it now and execute this I have one record inserted into the EMP table I'll just commit it now this record doesn't match with any of the employees record now why I insert it is because you know we will understand like how does the update or insert take place yeah so we'll just write a merge statement uh, on the EMP table. Wherever we find uh, the salary, I want to update it. If the employee is not present in this EMP table, I want to insert it. And I'll be using this employees table as the source table. So as I told, we'll merge into the employees table. So we'll be using the employees table. I'll merge into this EMP using employees and on what? On we said, I'll give an alias of this of E1 and this as E2. We'll merge on E1 dot EMP ID is equal to E dot employee ID. Now what to do? Like when they're matched, when matched then. When they're matched, I want to update. No need to mention the you know the table name otherwise you would write update table name set column name is equal to value but there's no need to write a table name over here because you are merging into EMP so definitely the update will be on EMP table so you can write update set the column name I want to 
update the salary column. Salary is equal to, I will take it, I will take the salary from E2 to the employees. So E2 dot salary. So wherever the join condition will match, it will get the salary from the employees table and update it to EMP table. Now what about when data is not matched? When not matched then, we will do an insert. Now this insert it will be into this EMP table, so no need to write insert into table name, just insert. You can start with values or you can, you know, use the column names over here if you wish. I just put values. I want E2 dot employee ID, E2 dot first name, E2 dot last name, and E2 dot salary. So this is my mode statement. You know, when match, then this, when not match, then insert. Um, I just execute it and it says not enough values that means I've missed out a column over here yeah there's a if you can check this um, table there's something called as a department ID also I missed it out so if you have mentioned the you know the values the column names over here like employee ID first name last name salary this would work but as I'm not mentioning the column names I need to insert data into each and every column so it's e2 dot department id comma now executed it says 107 rows merged so now when i look at into this emp table no more first i had record only from 100 to 110 but now i have all the record and as you can see even the salary has been updated but i have one more record in this table that is 210. So as you can see there are about 108 records in this table but it has merged only 107 records. Why that is? Because this record with employee ID 210 didn't match. You know this match, this match on employee ID of EMP and employee ID of uh, employees table didn't match. So this record is not updated. It is as it is. You know you can see the null value over here. So this is your merge statement. Um, I'll just roll this data up so that I can show you other scenarios also. <coughs> I've done roll back. So now again in employees table I have only you know 11 records. And this 12th one is what I inserted. So 12 records in this table. What I want to show you is it's not required that we will have a not matched column. You know I can I can have a simple merge into this and an update you know there's no need for not matched value when I do this it says 11 rows are merged so let's see what it did it updated whenever there is a match update that's it when there is not a match insert I just commented that but it is not mandatory to have both the clause like when matched then when not matched then so as you can see it has updated the cell let me just roll it back again to as it was before and I'll just show you one more thing. It's even not mandatory to have the matched clause. I can just simply, you know, have the not matched clause. When I execute it, it says 96 rows merged. So, meaning it has not updated any salary. Only wherever, you know, the data didn't match, it inserted. So here as you can see all these rows after 110 are inserted. So there is no update only insert. So this 96 rows are inserted into this table. So as, as we see it is not mandatory to have both these groups. <coughs> as I said roll it back and now let's see delete. Now when you want to do a delete you can do like delete. No need to give from and table name because um, it is understood that you are deleting from EMP table. So delete, you can say where EMP ID. Let me delete the record that I inserted. You know that 110 value with my name. Yeah, I just delete this record. And employee ID is equal to 210. And let us execute it. And let us check the results. So as you can see, it has updated the salary of all these tables which are matched, you know, and then it has un inserted other other records from the employees table to the EMP table. And the 210 
emp id is still here why because only on the matched condition it would perform a delete like if your delete is outside the matched condition it will not take place let's say suppose i would have given here yeah, delete 100 you know delete 100 is a part of the matched because you know there is an employee id 100 in both the tables it is an emp also you can see over here you can see an employee also over here so now if i am deleting 100 and then execute it and when i check the employees table i don't find 100 c when i do in ascending i get it from 101 and that means it deletes but it will delete only on your join condition so if you are deleting a record outside of your join condition it will not do it that is the main thing that i wanted to show over here over here the 210 record is only present in emp table it's not present in the employees table so it fails this join condition or the you know on on clause so when you write 210 it will not delete it it will take no effect to this so when you do this you still have that record over there you still have 210 here see it is there so this is one of the important things i want to show there's one more aspect with delete it is like say suppose i am you know updating the department id to say 500 and then i am deleting all the reports with department id is equal to 500 what i am doing is when i am uh, on, i am targeting the emp table using the employees table on this clause of employee id joining clause if they are matched i am updating the salary no, i don't i'm updating the salary and I am making the department ID as 500 and then I am deleting the records with imp, uh, this department ID 500 when they are not matched I am just inserting the record into it ok so what I am doing is see there is already about 11 mm, about how many 12 rows in this table there are 12 matching rows I am making updating the salary and updating the department ID to 500 okay wherever there is a match so there is 11 rows which will have that match only this row will not have the match so i'm updating the salary and then i'm making the department id as 500 and then i'm deleting all the department id with 500 okay so these are the 12 rows which will get these are the 11 rows which will get updated to department id 500 and then it says delete them so let's see what happens what it happens is it will not really delete those it will update it to 500 but it is not deleted see these are the old 11 records which i had before the others who are you know the part of the not uh, not matched clause and they are inserted so as you can see the delete will take place on the set of records which are joined with this join clause and it will not consider this update if you have it will not consider this update if you have done department id 500 and then you are deleting sorry it will not take this update it will just see which rows are matching and based on your previous set of records you know the previous uh, stage of your record it will do and delete it will not take the new updated stage so these are the things that uh, we can do with merge you know merge two tables also you can see uh, over here you need to have a table because you will merging into a table but over here you can have a table or a view or a subquery all of these will work and then uh, we can have you can have when matched then which is an optional you as you have seen it is not mandatory then you have when not matched then, which is also optional it's not mandatory when when they are matched you can either update them or delete them or do both of them but make sure that you know your delete will be based on this on close wherever they are matching and the state of the uh, records will be before this update it will consider the state of records before the update and when you have a not matched you can have an insert but you just need to make sure you write this update correctly because it's not our traditional update table table name and delete from table clauses so just we have some practice and you will get handy to this this is the merge statement it does update insert and delete based on you know this joining condition 
so this is kishan i hope you enjoyed this video please do like share and subscribe thank you